online and we're at Langton Green by Taylor Wimpy Homes in Stone in Staffordshire. Now we're here to view this house side here, a new one for the channel, it's the four bedroom faking them. Take a look at it, what a lovely looking house, it's got some presents hasn't it? Lovely bay window on the front but just look at the coping on the side there, look at the diff difference in that sort of mellow brickwork how that makes that. It's got an integral garage and a porch, without further ado let's go and take a look around. Hello Emma, welcome Hello. to Langton Green by Taylor Wimber Homes yes. in Stone in Staffordshire. Now this house type is the Fakenham. Mm -hmm. Four bedrooms. Bed, yeah. Now this is actually based on the floor plan of the Bryant Homes Victoria pre-merger. So you know mm -hmm. what it's like. Um, Taylor Wimpy taking the best of their acquisitions and using those house types. And this is one of them. Yes. Very, it's been changed an awful lot. Okay. Anyway, but nice we hallway are, though. Yes, we are reversed to plan. So the other side of this is the garage. Integral garage. Yes. Right, so right in front of me then should be, yes, downstairs coat crew. There we go. Yeah, it's got a nice tiling, pair of wellies in there. Keep it real, got some nice local Twyford sanitary wear. It's a good size hallway. Yeah. Ooh, jewels wellies. Jewels. Jewels. Yes, right. So we've got the sitting room then at the front. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Right, dimensions. Just over the four metres by literally a smidge by four metres 22. Oh, it's very flowery in here, isn't it? I think it's very nicely uh, nicely dressed. Lovely. Botanical. Botanical? Botanical, yes. It's very nice, it is. So you've got two windows. One of them is a big bay. And it's nice to see they kept the Bryant corner window there on that Victoria. You that see, now only you would know that. Yeah, it's nice. You? Yeah. It's it's just, it's it's distinctive because it protrudes out. Yeah. Did you notice how the door here yeah, is that, on I the think, corner? Yeah, I think that's the same in the design. Yeah. But the only thing that I think was different is they had a WC here instead. Uh-huh. So they changed it. Yeah. yeah. So, through into the kitchen and dining room. Ooh, this is a big space. Very, very nice. Got a large dining area. So they've given me dimensions all in one. So you've got 6 metres 51 by 3 metres 86. There's a lot of construction going on there. It's a good site, the yeah. House. Yes. Right, let's take a look at this kitchen then. So you've got your fridge and freezer at this end. Integrated oven and grill, plenty of cupboard space, lovely uh, induction hob there, it's very nice isn't it? Oh, teeny little slim cupboard, big drawers. Now I'm not sure what's included, what are upgrades, you need to speak to the sales centre. Oh there you go, took the words out of my mouth. This show home contains optional upgrades at additional cost, so always ask about that. There's your boiler need it today because it's absolutely freezing. We are a week before Christmas aren't we? A week today is yeah. Christmas day. So there's your washer and dryer all in one because there's no separate utility with this uh, with this house. There we go, so all cupboard space, this will be your dishwasher full-sized 
and then again some more cupboard space there. One and a half bowl drainer and a very nice window there overlooking the rear garden. Feels very spacious. Yeah. I like it. You've got room for a chair. You could even fit a sofa in over there. I mean, they've got quite a large dining table, six chairs. You could have that more this way. You could have a sofa there. You could even fit a corner sofa yeah. in, I think, if you wanted to. We've got a door over there. I love the jewels. You see now, spotted the things that I like, the jewels tins. Lovely. Ah, it's a large cupboard there, and it goes it's back. Got a, yeah, it's got a phone socket in as well, so oh, you can have your says, modem hidden yeah. away in there. Very, very nice. So, French doors there to the back garden, which looks like a very neat, 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 and tidy garden, back garden. Yeah. We always look over the site and you just think, all those, just think, you know, in a few years' time, that'll all be a community, won't yeah, it? Yeah, there'll be more houses there behind. Yeah. yeah, very neat garden there. Lovely. Okay. Take a look upstairs. Okay, okay, welcome upstairs in the Fakenham. Yeah, first floor then. Nice landing there, isn't it? These stairs come up on this way, that's really nice. Mm. So, we're not to plan we are the other way round. And you know that confuses the hell out of It over. certainly does, you know what I'm like. So I think this is bedroom two, if I'm right. <sighs> At the rear. Yeah, above the garage. Yes? No. It's the garage is the opposite end. Come on, get a grip. Well, this might be bedroom four then. It is bedroom four. You can tell by the size of it, Emma. Okay. Okay, right, bedroom four. Let's three, do three metres thirty five by two metres eighty four. Yeah. Okay, good room, good size room. Hey diddle diddle. Could be a double bedroom if you wanted yeah. it to. It is, and again this this site is I tell you what, look at this, look at this. There's the motorway over there. Just see it in the distance, that's there. Great open space here. You're right on the edge of the countryside. Stone's a lovely place to live, but this is right on the end, right at the end. Motorway the end. the M6. The M6, yes. Yeah. And, um, you know, right on the edge of the countryside, but Stone's a great place. Look at this. A handmade castle. Beautiful. So we've got the cylinder tank there, another little bit of room there for a few shelves to go in. Mm. Main bathroom then. So, nice, nice off room, got a rainfall shower in here, that's that's pretty good for a bathroom isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. You don't get that normally over a bath, that's the first time I've seen that. Um, but you've got a good choice of a shower head, you've got a normal shower head there and that rainfall shower in there, really really good. Um, some nice, the Twyford Sanctuary there running as well up here. Really nice doors as well, let's just take a look at those. And the door furniture, very nice. So next you've got bedroom two then. Now this is more like a bedroom two. Yeah. So that's got a fitted wardrobe in there, very nice looking fitted wardrobe. Let's have a look at that. We don't know whether that's, you know, or well we've got some more odds and... Yeah, that might well be an upgrade. Yeah. So, this bedroom, four metres eleven by two metres ninety. Very good sized double bedroom. Enjoy the silence. Mm. Next you've got bedroom three. This has been done out in a twin room. Yeah. That is a very good sized double bedroom, isn't it? Let's give you a little bit of a look outside before we land. You can see some of the house types, and they're very nice, aren't they? Look at the detail on the brickwork there. Just, just look cute. They're very nice, characterful looking houses. I do like the decor in this house. Bedroom three, dimensions three meters forty-six by two meters twenty-two. Look at the lovely little caravan there, Steve. Isn't that beautiful? I like that very much. Noted, Steve says nothing. Yeah. I don't know why she asked me about things like it, um, like pictures and fittings. Last but not least, the master bedroom, bedroom one. 
mentioned. Good size this is. This just is just over the four meters by four meters twenty five. That's pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. Wow. Beautifully staged as well. I like it. Very, very nice indeed. So you've got what looks like a king size bed. I would say you could fit a much, much super duper bigger size bed in. You've got plenty of room for additional furniture around and about. Room at the end of the bed here, which is absolutely lovely. They've got fitted wardrobes. They might be an upgrade, you need to ask about that, but that's the perfect place for it. You could even have some more over there if you wanted. Room for a TV, and it's got an ensuite. So, all the they are all the tiles are big. Look at those size of those. Lovely. It is very nice, very well done, isn't it? The detail on the finish look. It's got a window. This is it, touchy feely. Those tiles are lovely. Yeah, I've they not are. seen those no, anywhere no. else. Very, very nice. They're <coughs> almost beveled, aren't yeah. they? And the tiles match the doors. Yeah. <laughs> nice touch. Yeah, well done. Mm. Lovely. Excuse me. Mm. Well, we've got a bit very good, isn't it? it uh, is. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> okay. okay. <coughs> so this is the Fakenham four bedroom Taylor Wimpy. Odd name. Yeah, Fakenham. That's it. Anything it with is. the word Faken. Yeah. Not great, is it? Mm. But this house is Other not. Other than that, it's very very nice. It is a nice house type. Yeah. Um, and as I said, it's modelled on the uh, Bright Victoria. Um, house type, which I'll put, I'll put a little picture in the uh, box for you so you can see what it used to look like. Um, yeah, anyway, all of this information that I have here I will pop in the description box down below along with some information about this development and the area. Uh, so don't forget to check that out. There'll also be a link to Taylor Wimpy's website as well yeah. so you can yeah. navigate your way back to them if you have any further questions. Um, but I'd be very interested to know if you're looking at this house type, looking at this development, this area, or you're just buying a Taylor Wimpy house, yeah. please let us know. Uh, you can find us on our Facebook page, our Twitter page, we're on Instagram, we're all, we're everywhere. We're social. We're everywhere, aren't we? Yeah, but if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and we will catch you on our next video. Bye Thanks for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.